Well, you see, ordinary people, they do ordinary things, which I'd be fine with if it wasn't so mainstream. These ordinary people go to ordinary jobs and paid an ordinary wage. A workaholic pageantry dedicated towards a new age of success. We are the generation of change, they exclaim. And by they, I mean the ones that are to blame. The ordinary people before us who drilled and instilled a narrow-minded viewpoint of the world into our brains. And many people are okay with this simple perspective that they have been spoon-fed, but I would rather be dead than live a close-off life of comfort. Oh, so you want to be extraordinary, these dumbfounded people croak. But no, I don't want to be an extraordinary bloke. I want to be me, and I say that with relief, no matter how many times I'm questioned about a belief, which I will stand firm upon this frozen ground of prejudgmental ice that these people skate upon the surface of, but never have the curiosity to go beneath and discover their accusations are wrong. Life is too dynamic to be only viewed one way, and please, a hypocritical analysis never has the right to come into play. But unfortunately, I understand. When someone on ordinary comes along, the ordinary people need the contraband to be properly disposed of by a glove that masks their hand bloodier than Lady Macbeth's. And do not tell me it is to keep order and normality when all you're doing is depriving someone of happiness to instill formality. Pushing others down doesn't raise you higher. It only makes your awaiting flames go brighter with anger and rage. You sit on the corner of cruelty and greed where lies garnish the world of good deeds where you plant seeds of hatred instead of love, which then grows to engulf the land, creating a pessimistic atmosphere filled with self-righteous humans who turn the other way when help is needed. Where people hate to love and love to hate and are bred with dehumanized traits of selfishness and where is the community in that? I am sickened by this madness that has been embraced by this culture. We are not told to follow our dreams, but on the contrary, are handed a laundry list consisting of graduate job, husband, kids, work, retire, die. And you'll be a lucky one if you get a sliver of happiness tucked into a preservative-filled pie. But the food industry is another story, so I'll leave it at that. It's time I break away from this materialistic atrocity and discover the world around me, where being different is a normal thing to be, where smiling is not frowned upon and kindness is more prevalent than hate, where I can look at myself and say this is a real Kate, not a mask that I've worn for far too long to please others so I'd not feel wrong. You can say what you will about the demeanor I carry, just don't ever call me ordinary. <laughs>